So now, when we don't want to try to solve this, okay, we have an assumption of the basis of the solvent that is coming into the absorption tower of 1000 mole per minute. So as for now, we have the overall balance which is G1 plus L1 equals to G2 plus L2. Okay. And then here we have 200 plus 1000 is equals to G2 plus L2 and it's supposed to be 1200 G2 plus L2. So this is one equation. The second equation is we actually do the solvent balance where actually we have 1000 the one that is coming in 1000 is equals to 1 minus x1 l2 okay this is solvent balance and um we need to know actually from um uh, here as well we are doing actually the gas balance gas a balance so this is solvent balance for solvent B. So for gas A balance, right, we know that it is 0 0.9 multiplied with 200 is equals to 1 minus Y1 G2. Okay. And then we know that um, this is 180. Okay. Because the remaining 20 more per minute is actually belongs to uh, it belongs to sulfur dioxide. Okay. So I'll, I'll leave you here for a while. How about this SO2 balance? SO2 balance is actually 20, which is the leftover, which is 0 0.1 times 200, equals to X1 G2 plus with Y1 L2. Okay, so this is what coming in, and then this is where actually it goes out. One, it goes to the gas. Another one, it goes to the liquid solvent. Okay, so how do we solve this particular equation, right? Because we know that the gas, right? The gas itself in G2 is actually gas A and the remaining of SO2. Right, so now A, we know that A is actually 0 0.9 times 200, which is 180. Remaining of SO2, we know that only 2% not being absorbed by the solvent. So out of 20 here, 2% multiply with 20, then you got this as 0 0.4. So 2% out of 20, you got 0 0.4 mole per minute. So altogether, you will have 180.4 mole per minute as your G2. So when you substitute here in G2, then ultimately you will know now what is your L2. So it is L2 is equals to 1,200 minus 180.4 mole per minute okay and then what else so once you know this and then you'll be able to determine this because you know your L2 you have calculated from this and you substitute from this then you can get your x1 and ultimately you can get 1 minus x1 right and at the same time because you know g2 so you can substitute here then you can determine your y1 which is 1 minus y1 and y1 itself so that's how you do, you perform the overall balance for uh, this particular problem. Okay, uh, happy trying. Um, it's not that complicated. It's just a matter of you try to see the picture, what is going in, what is going out, what has been absorbed, what is left. Alright, so thank you very much and see you in the next video.